a one-pan Italian chicken dinner with juicy, tender chicken thighs, and a pop of fresh basil all on an herb tomato sauce. I'm Tess, and welcome to my kitchen. This is such an easy, busy weeknight chicken dinner. This recipe is going to feed a family of four, and it is light on the grocery wallet. In my skillet on medium-high heat, I'm adding in about three tablespoons of vegetable oil and placing in my cubed chicken thighs. I cut the chicken into about one inch pieces and just make sure that they're similar in size. Seasoning with a little salt and black pepper. I'm letting the chicken cook for one to two minutes and then turning. My goal here is to get a nice crust on at least two sides of the chicken and form a nice fond on the bottom of the pan. The chicken might not be cooked all the way through, but remove it from the pan and set to the side. In the same pan on medium heat, I left about two tablespoons of fat on the bottom and I'm adding in one small diced onion and one eight ounce package of cleaned and quartered mushrooms. Cooking and stirring for about five minutes or until the mushrooms are done releasing their moisture. Here I have three diced ripe plum tomatoes, and these are going to help start deglazing the pan. Cooking and stirring for three to four minutes, or until the tomatoes start to soften and break down. I have five large cloves of minced garlic, and one tablespoon of tomato paste. These two alone will add a tremendous amount of flavor to this dish. The tomato paste will add a concentration of tomato flavor and help bring the sauce together. Cooking and stirring for one minute or until the tomato paste is dispersed and there is a good aroma of garlic in the air. Adding in a quarter cup of white wine and a quarter teaspoon each of salt and black pepper or to taste. Cooking and stirring for a couple minutes. To make this dish even more tasty, I have a colorful bouquet of green, yellow, and red bell peppers. And straight out of the garden, I also have one cup of diced zucchini. Giving that a good stir, covering, and simmering for five minutes, occasionally stirring. Adding the chicken and all the juices back into the pan and giving that a good stir to incorporate. As you can see, I don't have much liquid. I'm adding in a half a cup of chicken broth, just enough to coat the bottom. Covering and simmering for another five minutes. This looks and smells so good. One last pop of flavor. From my garden, I have a couple sprigs of fresh oregano and about a half a cup of fresh basil leaves. Giving that one last stir and we are ready to eat. This Italian chicken skillet recipe is quick, easy, and delicious. Everybody that walks into the kitchen will ask you, what are you making? It smells so good. Serving tonight with some steamed rice and peas. You could also serve this with pasta and maybe some grated Parmesan cheese. I think the rice is perfect as it sucks up all the goodness. The fresh herbs really add some brightness and freshness. I hope you give my Italian chicken skillet recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button to receive my future recipes. Please feel free to share my channel with your friends and family. It really helps my channel grow and it is greatly appreciated. And until next time, much love.